We're out here grabbing our buckets and our five gallon is overflowing. Add a couple of these and almost all these buckets up here are dripping out too at the same time. So uh, we might have to go empty out our barrel. We just started the evaporator, but I don't know if we're gonna have enough space in here to actually do it. It'll be close. Um, the other thing I wanted to show is up here, I, <laughs> uh, up here I have a spot where, I might get around the tractor, where the, I'm thinking it's a bobcat, must have had a lunch? I don't know. At first I thought it was algae, but what do you guys think? It must be an algae, not blood, right? I don't know. Post a comment if you know what it is. We're under maples and oaks. You're slashing. <laughs> I made that mistake the other day. I got Jay Steele call covered with sap, but I told him it was all right because the chainsaws get sap on them, right? <laughs> Maybe not the same way, but. All right, here's the other five gallon bucket, the next one. This tree is pretty big. We got three lines on it. And it's spilling a lot. It's spilling out the top even. So, yeah, we grab the other five. No, those are three galloners. How are we doing with space in that? This other bucket's overflowing too. Nice and clean though. Another three gallons. And it's still running really good. <laughs> and another two and three quarters, maybe in this next bucket. We use pre-filters um, when we're collecting the sap here. It seems to work really well. It gets most of the snow fleas out if there are any. Um, and pieces of uh, bark or things. That one looks like it might be well, it's just over two and a half gallons. I've kind of lost track. Three, three, three. It's nine. So we have about 21-ish just off of this section of our uh, sugar maples. Fire's going. The barrel is pretty much overflowing now. We've got sap here, sap back here, and sap already starting to heat up. It's gonna be a fun weekend. Only collected half our buckets and probably roughly about 24 gallons so far. Evaporator's been going for a few hours now. We just emptied a couple of the buckets full to try to make more room in the, uh, I think it's a 55 gallon olive barrel. Now we're gonna go head down and get this bucket. Well, this one might not be as, as much as I thought. I'll have to check her, see how the tree's doing. This one usually, when she gets going, she goes, crazy. 
I um, was overflowing five gallon buckets multiple times a day last year. So, looks like only about maybe two gallons in there, so not too bad. So, we'll check that. Got Jay helping me collect, which is nice when all these buckets are all the way up. Just lowered the three point hitch. That way we can actually reach. <laughs> Not much room left again. The evaporator we got says it does about eight gallons of sap an hour. Not overflowing, but it's like here. Yeah. <laughs> and this one's getting pretty close. I thought this one was overflowing from the house, but it's not. It's at a pretty good angle. So, I was paying attention again. I think we're at 26. Um, how much was in that bucket? Half? Okay. So let's call it 27. In between these guys, maybe call another seven, so. It's about 34 that we collected today and we still got to go down to the other. Yeah, I saw that one. I think we're about around 34 for the day and we still got to go down to the end of the road to the other side of our driveway. And we have, I think, maybe five or six buckets down there still to collect and nowhere to put it. So we're going to keep on feeding the evaporator. We're feeding it uh, wood about every 10-15 minutes. The steam smells great. See if we can put a dent in uh, the sap we've collected so far. Tomorrow's weather is going to be rain in the morning and uh, like three inches of snow in the afternoon. So. May not be so nice to be out here. But we got the warmer going here. It's kind of like a staging area. And then that valve there drips from the warm sap. You don't want to be putting cold, cold sap into boiling sap. <laughs> Phone screen is uh, steaming up there. It smells really good. Um, so finding the right balance to keep the amount of sap going in as steam's coming out so your level doesn't get above like two inches or so is the goal um, usually I'm here scooping off all that foam um, usually foams considered imperfections in a lot of things um, and when you have foam on it it actually slows the, the um, steam process so um, usually try to keep the steam off but we've been running around so Jay just called me over. Well, look at this. I, this gal, I think it's 220 liters, maybe? Which I, I looked up, it, people call them 55 gallon drums, but I did the, the Google calculator and it said 57, I think. That's a lot of sap for our little backyard operation here. In basically two days, we've gotten this, plus we have um, a three gallon bucket over there at the evaporator and a five gallon bucket in a staging area and the evaporator has been running for a few hours and he still has another bucket he's bringing down now and we got the ones down the hill that's crazy guess we're in full swing of it at this point
So it's getting pretty dark over here. So got the uh, light that uh, Big Tool Rack Tim gave us on the back rack, kind of angled over here so I can see the evaporator, um, so I can see levels on that. And then also I'm restacking our wood over here. Um, we're gonna get quite a bit of rain starting at about two in the morning or so, and then goes to uh, uh, snow. So probably really wet, heavy snow. So we probably won't be able to, to boil tomorrow, unfortunately. Um, so we're gonna cover this over probably pretty late tonight. Uh, and then we'll pick it back up on Sunday morning. It should be 30s, um, low 30s on, I think 32 Fahrenheit would be the high on Sunday. Um, and partly sunny, so at least we'll have the hoop house to warm up in um, as needed, but really wishing we had a cover or roof of something, uh, sugar shack eventually, uh, with the amount of sap we have to, uh, to boil through this weekend.